Mark. Cleveland police make two quick arrests in the case of a brutal robbery at a local movie theater. News Channel 5's John Kosick is live in Shaker Square with the latest. John? Yeah, Danita, there is a huge sigh of relief on the square tonight knowing that Cleveland police make quick work in catching the two people that they believe are responsible for that brazen robbery here. It was just after 10 Tuesday night inside a showing of the movie Night and Day that police say 22-year-old Lawrence Butler and 19-year-old Jaslyn Primus robbed or attempted to rob all five people in the theater watching the movie, seriously injuring two of them with blows to the head. We're incredibly shocked and upset about this. This has never happened at, at our cinema or any of our cinema locations. Uh, and our hearts and, and our prayers go out to the families that were attacked. The news caught many who frequent the square by surprise. Yeah, police were on here up until about 1 or one thirty, so at 10 o'clock. That's kind of... but things happen. With the help of a theater surveillance tape and the fact the suspects tried to use one of the stolen debit cards at this ATM off 116th and Buckeye, Cleveland police were able to make quick arrests. And we're beefing up security from this point on um, just to remind people what a safe environment this is. The environment of Shaker Square has seen a transformation. Once a center for shopping, the square has seen empty storefronts replaced by fine dining. With places like Sergio Sarava, the Grotto Wine Bar, and Darna Moroccan Fusion joining the ranks of fire and other established spots here. They don't want to see anything upset that continued evolution. You have a couple of bad eggs that come around and do something like this, and it really spoils it for, for a lot of the businesses and, and gives, gives the area a bad name. But for the most part, there's a lot of good people around here. Now, I spoke by phone with several of the people that were injured inside the theater tonight. They are recovering. The most serious injured, though, uh, suffered a fractured skull and ruptured eardrum. The two people arrested faced aggravated burglary or robbery charges tonight. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5. All right, John, thank you very much.